Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrington, hanging out here in the woods in western Pennsylvania on a pretty cold day. And I'm going to introduce you really briefly to an edible mushroom that I'm seeing all over the place. It's very easy to find. It grows in abundance. You should have no trouble finding this one. For some reason, though, not a lot of people give this one enough credit. And so I want to give this one some credit in this video right here. Now, it might not taste like the maitake mushroom. It might not have a texture of chicken of the woods. But it is an edible mushroom nonetheless. And if you're looking to get some wild genetics into your body in the weeks of December, this is an easy way to do it. So you can see it saturating the stick right here. And this is Excidia resiza, the amber jelly roll. It's a jelly fungus, so it kind of feels like jelly, and it might even taste like jelly whenever you do eat this one. And it's very easy to find. It grows on deciduous sticks or branches. So it's a decomposer of wood, but you're not really going to find it on standing dead trees. You're not really going to find it on big, massive logs in the forest floor. You'll really find it on the smaller substrates, like sticks and branches. Now this mushroom is rather interesting in appearance. So it's irregularly shaped, kind of brain-like, it feels like jelly, and it's very malleable. It's dark brown, somewhat purple, and it's translucent to some degree. So it's almost like you could see right through it. What's really fascinating is that it dehydrates kind of easily. And so sometimes if there hasn't been rain for about a week or two, but this is growing on a stick, it'll dehydrate completely. You could still bring that home. Just pick some of those off, put them in a bag, bring them home, Throw that in a bowl of water for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and it'll rehydrate, it'll plump back up, and then you can cook it from there. Now you can add this to soups, you can also stir fry it. However, if you decide to stir fry it, I have to warn you, this one tends to pop a whole lot, and sometimes it'll pop right out of the pan. I don't know why it does it, but it tends to do that. And so if you're stir frying, you walk away from the kitchen for maybe three minutes, you come back, all these mushrooms might be on the ground, they might be on the counter. So put a lid on it if you decide to stir fry this mushroom. Xidia resiza, amber jelly roll, it's not the only edible mushroom out there right now. You know, you can still find Pleurotus osteratus, the common oyster mushroom. You can find the late fall oyster mushroom. I'm still finding a lot of brick caps, a whole bag full of brick caps, Hypoloma lateridium. There's other species as well. So get out there, see what you can find. If you don't find any mushrooms, that's okay. It's not a day wasted because at least you spent some time out of doors. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.